Try me. Mm -mm. <laughs> Look, there are even more on the refrigerator. Yeah. I feel like I'm standing on the inside of a bulletin board here. Oh, uh, you're going to love this one. It's from Wit. Dear Luke, there's cider in the fridge and six more jugs on the stoop outside the barn. P.S. It's the hard kind. Oh, the hard stuff. Great. <laughs> Good. This one has a, this one has a P.S. P.S. Buffered uh, Honeycutt will be by in the morning to help out. He's paid up till we get back from Chicago. Buffered? Got, uh, well, buffered. What's, what's that? It's a honeycut, oh. obviously. <laughs> OK. <laughs> you want to hear the chore list? Oh, I'm too tired. So am I. But here it goes. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. All oh, right, the days have gone by then. Okay, read on. I'm supposed to milk Bessie at 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh, Luke. Uh, all right, before breakfast, feed chickens, okay. gather, separate, and size the eggs. Size the eggs? Separate and size the eggs. What does that mean? Oh, I think that just means something like scramble, you know, separate them. I, I Probably that's what it means. Oh. Feed the geese, put Bessie's milk in the separa, sep, sep, what is this? Separ? Separator. Oh, separator. Yeah. Turn on cooler, bring in pumpkins for canning. <laughs> pumpkins for canning? <laughs> Great, just what I've always wanted to do on my honeymoon, can pumpkins. Well, you wanted to, you wanted to <laughs> do a honeymoon on the farm, you got it. Are you sorry? No. It's exactly what I want to do every morning at 6 o'clock on my honeymoon. Milk Bessie. And milk Bessie. Oh. I think we better talk about it. You want to talk about it now or later? Are you worried? No. Are you? I'll show you why I'm not worried. You see this right here? This ring on your finger? I love it. I love this, too. These two rings mean that we are man and wife. We are married. And OK, so Scott did his number at the at the wedding, but that's that's over. This means we are married. We are man and wife. I know. But no, hold on. What if no, 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 don't do the what if game. Let's don't do it. Let's say it one time and then we'll be through with it. OK. Scott is not going to get a chance to contest your divorce. He's not going to. You mean that Lee'd talk him out of it first? Yeah. And if uh, Lee can't, then we'll talk him out of it when we get back. He might not listen. Oh, he'll listen. He'll listen while I'm banging his head on the pavement. He'll listen. And I, and I may not get a chance to even do that, you know. I don't understand. It's probably going to be too late for that. What? Well, uh, if you ask me, probably half the town's already doing that. So, a little of the... Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, look, it's got notes on everything. Look, it's cider hard. That's what we want. Get us a couple of glasses, honey. Well, it's hard. It well, I hoped you'd be here. Hi. So, how was the wedding? Well, which part do you want to hear about? The beginning, the middle, or the smash ending? Why well, you tell me about the exciting part? You caught the bridal bouquet. Scotty Baldwin. Scotty, did you decide that you still love Laurel? Was that it? Was that what made you change your mind? Love her? Are you kidding? She's a slut. The love and the pain died a long time ago. You know, when she came down to Mexico to ask me for that divorce, something else just burst wide open inside of me. What? What burst? Pure hate. There was one other thing. The idea of getting even, of course. Oh, Scotty, stop it. Now, don't you think I know my own son? You don't even sound like yourself. Maybe it's not the Scotty you know, but you spend a year with an open room and you change. Oh, come on. You think you're the only one that's had it rough in this life? You should learn the horrors of alcoholism. That's real horror, boy. 
Look, we all have to learn eventually that every experience, even the bad ones, lead to growth. Well, what do you want, a gold star there? My experience led to hate. All right. All right, let's accept that just for the moment, huh? So you got even today. You, you made a big grandstand play there at the wedding out of hatred. Now what, you planning more? I've only just begun. Now, Scotty, now wait a minute. We're not through with this conversation. You bet we are! Scotty, Scotty, you can't go like this. Now wait, wait, just Hell, a minute. Now you get out of my Scotty. way! Stop it, Scotty. Now you go on back there and sit down. I'm going to tell you exactly what you're going to do. Please, son. the bride and groom, though, huh? Of course, but what else is new? Joe, help go. He said that no matter what kind of legal mess Scotty tries to start, there are definitely ways to find him. Well, I listened to him, um, I listened to Joe. And there's always two sides to every uh, courtroom. That's true. And Luke told me himself that Lee promised to try and stop Scotty no matter what. Strange, though. What? Me wanting things to go right for Luke and Mom. I don't think that's very strange at all. He's your brother. Oh, no, I meant Laura. There was a time, you know, when I hated her guts. As a matter of fact, I did everything I could to discourage my brother from being there. Really? Yeah. But I was wrong. Because he loved her. And even though everything he touches seems to go wrong for Laura, I think he always will love her. And the two of them deserve nothing but happiness. Both of them. All right, Scotty. I know the trouble you can cause Luke and Laura legally. But I'm warning you, don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. When, when did you become so protective of Laura? When she dumped me, you couldn't stand the sight of her. So why the sudden change? Well, when I sobered up this time, Scotty, I was ready to dump my whole legal practice. And it was mostly Luke and Laura who stopped me. And because of that, I suggested the Juarez divorce. And I gave them my word that if you... if you tried to make any trouble for them, I'd stop you. You mean you try and stop me? Oh, come on, Scotty. You got your revenge now. You got even. Why don't you try being a human being? You got some suggestions? Yeah. You're still a lawyer, you know. Your desk is waiting for you at my office. That's always been your father's dream. You know that. Oh, you know, you two kill me. You really do. You're living in a dream world and you think they're real. Well, they're not! Look, I'm going to let you know when I decide, okay? When will that be? That, Gail, that is real easy. When I think that those little newlyweds have suffered as much pain as I've suffered. Uh, and he... that is going to take some time. What? I'm going to fight you. Good. I like a good fight. May the best man win. <laughs> 